Hi, okay, I want to go back to, to uh, Tony Hayward, the, the chief executive of BP, formerly known as British Petroleum. Uh, Thad Al, I mean, uh, Tony Hayward said to the Times of London uh, when asked about lawsuits, well, he, his, his quote was, this is America, of course there are going to be frivolous lawsuits. He said to the Guardian newspaper in the United Kingdom that relatively speaking, compared to the water in the ocean, of course it's not an ocean, it's a gulf, but compared to the water in the ocean, the volume of oil going into this, into this body of water is relatively small. And to our sister network Sky News in the United Kingdom, he said this. I think the environmental impact of this disaster is likely to have been very, very modest. It's impossible to say, and we will mount, as part of the aftermath, a very detailed environmental assessment as we go forward. We're going to do that with some of the science institutions in the, uh, in the US, but all, everything we can see at the moment suggests that the overall environmental impact of this will be very, very modest. Very, very modest. The White House response? Well, obviously, it's not modest. It's not modest to the people in the Gulf who are now worried about their livelihoods. It's and not to the, modest and to the president of Plaquemines who care Parish about the resources that his coastline in is that dead. Uh, area. And uh, excuse me. And to the president of Plaquemines Parish, who says that 21 miles of his coastline are dead. In other words, yes. Yeah, so Look, this is an enormous disaster. It's, uh, that, that's obvious and to this everyone. Is the Chief and they're going to be of the and BP company is going to be held of cleaning up this disaster now. Tony Hayward, who dismisses us as, as litigious, who makes comments you, about you're, comparative you're volume of oil, and then Sh says Shepherd. the environmental impact is very minimal. And this is the person we, as Americans, are supposed to entrust with the largest ecological disaster in American history. Tony Hayward. I just want to wait. Are you done? I am. Go right. I want to. I know. I appreciate. I'm. Glad to be invited here to hear your, your, uh, your, your speech. I think one thing we do know is that we can't trust BP with information at this point. They were the ones, absolutely, you're correct, who said, oh, don't worry, this oil will not reach the beaches. Come on, here it is. And we know that shrimp are in their most delicate larva stage right now, as far as that white shrimp life cycle is concerned. What happens next? And, and you know, lest we sound too callous here, we always want to remember 11 men lost their lives here. Uh, and as we look forward, it's, it's also going to affect the livelihoods of, of other people as well. But where do we stand with the white shrimp population? It, it's, it's, it could be devastated. We just don't know. We, we understand that this dispersant mixed with oil is certainly toxic to the touch, to the, to the larva. Uh, it bioaccumulates uh, in, in the fisheries. We now have our own shrimp folks that are out there working risking their health. I don't think they're properly trained. They certainly don't have the proper uh, uh, hazmat equipment to do this, and yet we have planes going over these folks spraying this dispersant while they're working, and they can't quit working. They're afraid they're going to lose the job that, that are paying them to do this, and they, can't, they certainly can't go fish. So, you know, we don't, every day it, it seems to get a little worse. 